Tom Dollars and patrons of the internet. Today I want to show you this X-Wing MOC. It's long, tall, wide, functional, sleek, able to retract all of its landing gear, and it's all based on the original 1999 X-Wing's design. Let me explain. I decided quite a while ago that I wanted to have some kind of X-Wing. This will probably appear in my series at some point sometime in the future. See, X-Wings are really expensive, and the kind of X-Wing I wanted, you know, a red and white one, LEGO isn't selling one right now, and I think LEGO's X-Wings have been really oversized for a really long time. As a matter of fact, this one is pretty big, bigger than I would normally make a ship. And this is based on the smallest X-Wing LEGO has ever made. Wow. So here's what I did to make my dream X-Wing here. I checked the instructions and the piece count for the original 1999 version, which was also released in 2001, but it was designed around 1999. I made a couple of Bricklink orders, of course changing up the color scheme completely, and of course made quite a few alterations just in a few areas around the cockpit, the nose, added a little bit here and there around the engines, and some minor modifications and changes just because there are certainly more pieces available now than there were back then. At the end of it all, I have a sort of 30 stud long, 20 stud wide X-Wing. All to a strict color palette of white, dark red, light gray, and black. And I think it's really, really nice. Of course, a good question is, how much did this cost me? Now, it has about 300 pieces in it, all in all. And it cost me the British equivalent, 27 pounds, of around 37, 38 dollars. Of course, that's including a lot of fairly rare pieces in different colors, and also the fact that I had to pay for postage on all of that, so really, I'm pretty happy. Also, if you want an actual LEGO released X-Wing with a red and white color scheme now, well, you're looking at a lot of money on Bricklink. Way more than this cost, let me tell you that. Now, sadly, I do not have an exact piece count or any kind of instructions if you did want to make this yourself. For that, I do apologize. But if you really do want to make this yourself, then Mostly, it is just the exact same pieces as the 1999 model in different colors. And you could probably figure out the rest just from looking at it here. I know I'm useless, I'm sorry. Like any other X-Wing, it has four wings that can snap together and apart into an X formation. Yeah! It's got two engines here. Two engines here, four engines back here, which are mainly black, but I added some silver on the end, which I think looks pretty nice. Of course, R2 fits in right there. There's a little storage compartment just at the back here. I mean, that was in the original design for Luke's lightsaber. I mean, it, mine doesn't have a lightsaber, but it would cost money to fill that in with bricks. So, so mine has a storage compartment. And of course, you can open up this and Luke just fits down in there. Oh yeah. That's about all I can really say about this. I mean, you can see what it is. And uh, if you do like what you see, be sure to give a thumbs up on the video. And if you have not been around these parts before, subscribe to Nerdy Nom Nom. This isn't actually the usual content I post, so you probably will be disappointed, but I don't care, more subs is more subs! Thank you for watching, now roll the sub advert!